Hi everybody, welcome back to some more Python tutorials in the RE module and regular expressions. And in the last video, I gave you a hint that we were going to be looking at the multi-line flag in the RE module. Now, this is going to be an interesting thing. It's going to give us uh, a little bit of a difficulty and kind of a challenge in what it is that we're going to be looking at. First, anyway, let's get on to some things that we got to learn about to proceed with our, you know, our understanding of regular expressions and all that. Let's look at some new special characters. Let's look at the caret. The caret will match the start of a string. And uh, we'll, we'll avoid that last line for a second, and we'll look at the dollar sign. The dollar sign will match the end of a string, or just before the new line at the end of the string. And look, it, it talks about multi-line mode. And in multi-line mode, it will also match anything immediately after each new line. Okay. Super duper cool. So let's test this out. If we got our, our program over here, let's say I want just one dot, I just want one something, and I'll use the caret for the uh, multi-line. Let's get rid of the let's get rid of the the lines for now. And let's get rid of the multi-line flag. Let's just see the caret work very, very simply, right? If we were to run this in our in our terminal, if we were to run this program, we would see it gets the first letter in the string. It gets the first letter in that line, the first 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 character, the T. Now we have an interesting predicament. What if actually before I jump into that I want to show you the uh, the dollar sign. The dollar sign would come at the very end after that. And I'm gonna hang on a second. Alright, I'm sorry about that, guys. I just I just had to kind of pause the video for a second. I heard some noises above me and thought it was World War III. Um, let's get back to what we were doing. The dollar sign, that uh, it returns the very end of the string. So when we test that in the uh, the testing program, you can see the last thing it will return, or at least highlight, is the question mark, because it's the very last thing in the string, or typically in the line. And that's exactly where we're finally going to move into the RE multi-line flag. If I run this... You can see right now it's not doing anything because we don't have any new lines. But if we go ahead and add that dash n dash n uh, backslash n, just like we had before, we will see something interesting happen. Let's check it out. We get our dollar sign, the top line. And we, we added support for multi-line, right? But we're not seeing anything here, and we're not seeing the period be highlighted. What the heck's going on? What if I use the uh, the caret again? What if I use the caret over over the top here? The T is being selected, but not not the B in the new line. What's going on? I, I'm sure most of you might remember that in the in the, in, a, in an earlier video I told you that the regular expression sort of engine and the procedure goes from left to right. It reads uh, like us humans do, one after the other, left to right, line by line, that sort of thing. And if it reads one occurrence of a match, it'll it'll select that one. But a regular expressions is still smart too. It'll still realize when it finds other matches. So what is going on here? Why is huh. you guys see the problem? We're we're selecting the multi-line flag. So obviously after the new line, we should still see both the TB highlighted and the backs the B for backslash be highlighted because it's happening across multiple lines. Is our program not supporting it? Well, it only does it for one occurrence, right? It goes from when we find the start of the match to the end of the match, so... Maybe that's it. Maybe our program, maybe our testing environment doesn't support the multi-line thing in a way that we can see it. Because maybe, certainly, of course, regular expressions is matching this, this pattern. The, it is finding the, the uppercase B the start of the new line, but we're just not seeing it in our program yet. So why is this? <laughs> What's going on? Well, I'm going to let you guys ponder on that one, and I'm going to let this be a short video because we're going to move on to another short video and subsequently, hopefully, many more short videos so we can at least revamp and kind of expand our testing environment even more. I hope you guys are thinking about that. Alright, I'm going to let you go now. <laughs> I think that was a good, maybe a little mental, mental, mental question for you, and uh, we'll move on to the next tutorial whenever you're ready.